Yet one grants the freedom to make the political choices to every citizen. The citizen qualifier speaks to the range of application of the freedom to make political choices by limiting the rights enjoyments to the citizens. Therefore, for one to be a beneficiary of the freedom to make a political choice, they must fall within the category of the citizen. Based on the citizenship qualification, the freedom to make political choices is a right that does not accrue to state organs or institutions. State organs or institutions cannot be citizens because under Chapter 3 of the Constitution, citizenship is limited to living human beings, excluding state organs. Consequently, while the president, when acting in his private capacity as a citizen, can enjoy freedom to make freedom political so choices, this right does not accrue to the institution of the presidency, which is a state organ. The presidency and other state organs do not fall under the rubric of citizens. I therefore find that exclusion of the institution of presidency and other state institutions from initiation of a process to amend the constitution the pro through the popular initiative route does not violate the political rights protected under Article 381 of the constitution. The last aspect of this issue relates to whether it was established through evidence that the process to amend the Constitution through amendment bill was initiated by the President. At the outset, it should be pointed out that the concurrent findings by the two courts below was that the President, by a number of antecedent acts, and initiated the process and the state was the real force behind the amendment process 